It's not immunizations. It's not getting people back to work. It's not getting kids back in school. It's keeping Democrats in power for 100 years. And how do they do this? They do this by instituting a bill that will promote widespread fraud and illegal voting. Under this bill, there's automatic registration of anybody if you get a driver's license, if you get a welfare payment, if you get an unemployment payment, if you attend a public university. Now everyone knows there are millions of illegal aliens who have driver's licenses, who are getting welfare benefits, who attend public universities. This bill is designed to register every one of those illegal aliens. General Rokita, what would the impact be in state elections of automatically registering millions of illegal aliens to vote? Well, this, despite the cost and, uh, and everything in the system, it would dilute. It would dilute the votes, uh, the, the votes of every citizen who is supposed to be voting. So they want voter turnout. They want more people to participate. And you cannot vote in this country unless you're a United States citizen in a federal election. And the bill explicitly says if an illegal alien is registered to vote under its provisions, even though it's illegal for him to vote, that illegal alien will not be liable. So it anticipates, the Democrats here anticipate and their desired effect is to register millions of illegal aliens. Is that correct, General Rokita? Yes. But it's not just illegal aliens. This bill is designed to get criminals to vote. A great many states across this country prohibit felons from voting. This bill strikes down all those laws. This bill says if you're a murderer, if you're a rapist, if you're a child molester, we the Democrats want you voting. Every one of those state laws is struck down. Is that right, General Rokita? That's correct. And if they don't get their way, then they sue the state, as I referenced in my earlier answer. So apparently the Democrats have determined that if millions of illegal aliens get to vote, if millions of criminals get to vote, that that will benefit Democrats because they understand that, that criminals and illegal aliens are much, much more likely to vote for Democrats. Is that correct? Yes. Not only that, this bill strikes down photo ID laws. 31, 29 states have photo ID laws, including, by the way, the state of Arizona, including the state of Georgia, including the state of West Virginia, all of which I might note have Democratic senators. But I'll tell you, the Senate Democrats are so interested in maintaining power that they're asking the senators from Arizona, from Georgia, West Virginia, to join a bill that strikes down the photo ID laws in their states. General Rokita, do photo ID laws help protect the integrity of elections? Absolutely. They give people confidence. They make sure that we hold to the principle of one person, one vote, particularly one citizen, one vote. And